what was the meaning behind December 31st and January 1st when it came to slavery? Many masses that filed bankruptcy would have to get rid of their slaves because their slaves were their property in order for them to actually pay off debts. So what the counties would do on December 31st, they would auction their slaves meaning that many family members would be separated from each other and never see each other again brothers and sisters parents kids friends so january 1st was the actual day of the separation where they would actually be separated from one another people while we are so excited about the resolutions that we're going to be making for january 1st on that many ain't gonna follow just think about what your ancestors went through during these times, during the whole year, they were praying that their masses never filed bankruptcy because they knew that that was going to be the end for some of them. This is so sad. This is the reason why I don't celebrate none of this shit. Who's with me on this? Are you, can you relate? something right in front of my house it is the fuck? only one spraying shit Yo, this one is not that one is not I just, watched the thing on this night ago. just that one and it stopped Call upon the Orishas of the land of the ancestors. Show the people that I is not me. I is we. And we is power. You are my beloved. I am Oshun. I will uphold you in your courage to carry that forward. I am Nimoja, the water. When the burden is too great, you rest in my arms. I am Aie, the earth beneath you. You bleed upon me, and I bleed upon you. The time will come when we rise together as one. Justice does not sleep. Righteousness comes from the hand of the divine. Power of the master diminishes. Those of us who have been enslaved are soul force raised from the dust. May the optimism of tomorrow be your foundation for today. And I, as we and we as power, and we are powerless, and we just become nothing but you and they. May peace be in your heart, and may your reaches lead your way. With the blessing of the one love, we, we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. So back in the 1940s, they had just built Cabrini Green. Cabrini Green was one of the most famous projects in the whole world. Right there in Chicago. And there was reports of alien sites and alien abductions way back at this time. But nobody reported on it because, for one, people didn't have cell phones and cameras just at the ready like that. So a lot of things did not get seen. And then another thing was people didn't believe you anyway. So if you was a black man or woman and you were calling to the police and you said, you know, hey, I see they, they're not going to believe that. They're not finna, they, you barely could give them to come out when somebody got popped. So you know you ain't finna get no investigation off somebody calling in saying that they seen a flying saucer, a UFO, you know, going up and down the block. So people was coming up missing, and I'm telling and at first, you know, it was homeless peoples and stuff like that. But after a while, because, you know, it was, it, we started seeing, it wasn't just, it was, it was everybody was coming up missing. I'm talking about people... People love ones was coming out, but at first it started off with the homeless folk.
So now I'm finna do a big explanation on Candyman and tell y'all the real origins of the movie. So first, Jack Johnson was a heavyweight champion of the world, black man, at a time back in the early 1900s when people hated black people. He loved it, white women. So he used to mess with white women all the time, man. He married a white woman. White people hated the fact that he messed with white women. They hated the fact he was the champion. They hated the fact he was knocking white boys out. All right? So, the first similarity to Candyman. Candyman was killed because he was messing with a white woman. So, a gang of white folks caught him, beat him down, put honey on him, sick some bees on him, and cut his right hand off. Now, in one of the famous images, you see Jack Johnson wearing the same coat that Candyman wore, and not just the old movie, but also the re-release of the movie. The one that just came out a few years ago by Jordan Peele or whatever. Jack Johnson had to go to jail because they made a law where, like, if you took a woman across state lines to do something uh, nasty with, then it was against the law. But it, it was like, really, it was just made so black men couldn't take white women across state lines, something like that, right? He ended up doing a year in jail, and in jail, he fought, you know, fought exhibition fights and all that kind of stuff, too. It's a little sad note. I like the way Jack Johnson, you know, even though all the prison pictures I found of him, he was always smiling, man. I like that about him, man. Now, after he came out of jail, the up-and-coming next big boxer was Jack Dempsey. Now... At this time, uh, Jack Johnson was old, 43, 42, 42, 43 years old. He was old, he was washed up, and uh, he was broke. He had a private fight against Dempsey. And in this private fight, the newspaper report said that he was beaten with a right hook. That's another Candyman thing, because why, why does Candyman have a hook for a hand? What's the explanation behind the hook? It ain't no explanation behind the hook other than Jack uh, was Jack Jack Dempsey beat uh, Jack Johnson with a right hook. That's why Candyman has a hook on his right hand. Also, one of the famous fights, Jack landed a right hook on a guy that kind of that they say sucker punched him, and uh, he got right back up after the sucker punch and blasted the guy with a right. You know, so hey. That's a huge similarity. That's why Candyman got the hook on the right hand. In the latest movie, they and in Candyman like history or whatever, there's many black, there's like five or six Candymen. And they all is people that was wronged by white society. So now they came back for their revenge in their afterlife after you say their name five times. So recently President Trump just pardoned Johnson for his year he did in jail. He just pardoned that junk just a couple of years ago. So the thing is, Jackson died in a society that hated him for no reason other than he was black. So Candyman spirit is just like that. It's spirits of people that was wronged when they was alive. So now they came back for revenge. So I'm not saying Candyman is Jack Johnson, but I'm saying the inspiration for Candyman came from Jack Johnson. If that ain't enough for you, then you just being difficult and you ugly. So I'm at work. You see this freaking sun right here? I'm finna show you how smart you are not. See that sun right there? But look at the moon right there too. How is the moon in space? I can only see half of the moon. But the sun is supposed to be shining on the moon, reflecting it back to me. But I only see half of the moon, when in reality, we can only see one side of the moon. Well, why I'm not seeing the whole moon right now if the sun is out with it? Something ain't right, people. I need y'all to wake up. <laughs> it's 2024. Y'all ain't seen the deception yet on the grand scale. Man, if all the water froze in the earth, 70% of water be flat and level everywhere you see it. Flat and level water can't curve around the sphere, people. 
let alone fly off through space. You just can't help. Folks, this is the reason why Mark Zuckerberg is building is uh, building a bunker. And this is the reason why they go in on the ground. I'm showing it to you right here in the video. It's a binary system, guys. No, they know what comes with it. And they kept that information away from the masses. He's got, it's, it's really sad when the truth is always in front of your face and for some reason you're too stupid to figure it out. And I'm always showing people. That's gonna cost a lot of seismic activity to the lights we have never seen before. So you just have to get ready. People are gonna go crazy. The elites believe the best way to go about this is by going on the ground. And it's because ancient civilization have done it before. They're just repeating what ancient civilization has done. And to be honest with you, a lot of people are saying, oh, 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 yeah, which, no, they're actually doing it the right way because they are ahead of the curb, because they have, they are aware because of knowledge, ancient knowledge, that's it. That's a planet. It's in our solar system, and that's the reason why the quakes are going off and the volcanoes are going off. Guys, whatever is happening right now with the quakes and the volcano, multiply it by a thousand. That's where we're going. For some reason, you can't process that. Ciao. This is for educational purposes only, right? What happened when Javante Davis bought them row houses to try to help out the community, and they just burnt them all down? This ain't no conspiracy theory. This is a direct attack. And I'm about to talk my shit. This is where Javante Davis was boxing at. See, he come from these rough environments. He come from these trenches, bro. Everybody talk down about the black man in the hood. Look what they did. Now let me show you Utah Street. This is beautiful. This is a nice. This the Huxtables neighborhood, y'all. And mind you, this is only around the corner from where Javante Davis, you know, had just bought all them row houses at. Why are they? Why is all this so beautiful? But I was getting burnt down. Although it's Utah place, you can't do that here. You see, this right here is the Boule family neighborhood. You see, when you, the Boule family, they're gonna make sure. Their neighborhood is good. Their neighborhood gonna look good. And Mr. Javante must not have got permission to make sure our neighborhoods look good. See, this when you gotta start challenging them black Christians. Who was your worshipful master? I thought Jesus was master. Prince Hall? Or him? Who? All right, you guys. Let's say bye to the Boulay family neighborhood. Thank you, guys. Now, back in the trenches we go. But y'all gotta come to understand that Jesus didn't hang out with righteous people. Yo, Jesus wasn't cool with all the good people. Jesus hung out in the trenches. Jesus hung in the trenches. Read your Bible. Yo, he hung with the Gentiles in the trenches. He hung with the thugs. He hung with the prostitutes, the drunks, the tax collectors. Yo, to be a tax collector, you had to be about something. Don't let nobody keep giving you depictions of the disciples of softies. A tax collector had to go grab money. He had to go take that. That was no soft man. A fisherman, the fishermen were big men. They were like bullies back then, bro. Yeah, what are y'all talking to? Y'all don't even know the disciples were gangsters. The man's literal blood, sweat, and tears went into the money. He's trying to invest in this, and they coming through burning our shit down. But nobody never go on Utah Street and do that. Yo, don't think it was a regular citizen. Don't think it was a junkie. Don't think it was a thug that burnt the row houses down that Javante Davis just bought up. No for a fact. It was the act of the government and anybody that's underneath of the government, anybody that has an organization that got people in the government, such as the Boule family and so forth, you are a silent consent until you stand up and fight with the real revolutionaries. Period. You see, this is something you really need to understand as a people. I keep telling you over and over again that the Black Amores, the Moors, is the 13 colonies. They were not colorless at all. None of them was colorless. 
if the Kings, let me tell you something. I've been making this series called Behind the White Paint. I'm showing you all these kings, stewards, and dukes, and queens. I'm showing you their complexions. If the kings and queens of that time period, during a colonial time period, were black, what you think the color of the 13 colonies that came over here during the last slavery time color is? If the king's blacks, then the settlers is black. So I'm telling you, those slaves were colorless, not you see. What a travesty. Okay, pay attention. I found this out in 2012. I'm so glad people are shedding light on this right now. These children is young as five years old and they are slaving for companies like Mars, right? Producing candies like M&Ms and Snickers that you still buy for your kids, but you don't know what's going on behind the scene. Watch this. Children as young as five doing the dangerous work of harvesting cocoa in West Africa. And where does that chocolate end up? Inside iconic candies like M&Ms and Snickers produced by American chocolate giant Mars who made more than $45 billion in sales last year alone. So what does that tell you? Not only does this display greed, but it also displays that they don't care about little black babies. They rather slave little black babies instead of paying people this is a multi-billion dollar company they rather slave little black children right instead of paying people in and creating factories and employees and stuff like that and get i'm telling you this but you still gonna buy their product and you still gonna give it to your kids right make it make sense because it don't y'all talking about boycotting wrong shit. this has been going on for a very a very long time pay attention six slicing the grass with lethal ease their machetes nearly as long as the smallest among them. These Ghanaian children are harvesting the cocoa that ends up in America's best loved chocolate. Instead of going to school, they are learning that sharp blades cut deep and big corporations make promises they seldom keep. Mars did over $45 billion in annual sales last year, in large part from selling chocolates like M&Ms and Snickers. Its owners are the third wealthiest family in the U.S. Like these little boys doing the back-breaking work of adult men. Tiny hands struggling with the dangerous work of hacking open cocoa pods, the long blade narrowly missing this five-year-old's fingers. Mars is one of the biggest privately owned companies in the world, raking in billions every year in large part from chocolate. Billions made on the backs of these young children. So my question for you is this, what are you going to do about this other than get mad? Because I feel like a lot of y'all still going to go and buy them products just because everybody else is doing it and it's normalizing the media ain't shedding light on it. Let me tell you something, it's been going on for a very long time. Not only is Mars enslaving little black babies, but they taking the same product, bringing it to America and adding bullcrap ingredients in it to, to dumb you down blatantly. Like this is their intentions, right? So you can go to a healthy alternative. You're going to stop buying these products. I need you to know every time you see these companies on the shelf to know how they got there, right? Go to a healthy alternative. Not only are they not enslaving children, but they actually putting real ingredients in their products. Switch it up. Be aware to what's going on. Stop feeding into this. Because you can scream F the government all day and F the system black power, but you still supporting these companies. It don't make no sense.
Oh shit, it went off. How would this went off like that? That was not natural. Look, look. What the hell was that? <laughs> Most likely, this water is dead. Uh, before they probably processed this water, it may have had information in it because in nature, water is constantly charged with living particles and, and the movement and all these things always um, give the water an energy, uh, energetic charge. But most likely, this water has no charge in it because it was packaged the way it was, it was processed the way it was, and it was stagnant for a long period of time. So, so by taking this water and simply doing this, I'm passing it through the air. By continuously passing it through the air like so, I'm feeding all the particles in the air to this liquid. So all those living, all those living particles are now going into my liquid. I'm now feeding oxygen. I'm now feeding energy into this water. You can even see the bubbles. Now, I'm giving my drink magnetism. I'm giving it life by passing it through the air. I'm basically breathing my drink. So by me giving this, by me repeatedly doing this, and I suggest to keep doing that for at least two minutes to charge your drink. I'm, I'm not going to keep doing that for the whole video, but I just wanted to show you the method. Do that for two minutes. By me doing that, I'm basically charging my drink. I'm basically putting the prana in my drink. I'm putting all all this living information so the end result is an enhanced liquid it's an enhanced drink whatever that you're drinking because of the new magnetism in your drink because of the new life in your drink it will taste better it will be more it will be more easily digested in the body it will give you energy this is like a natural energy drink cuz you're oxygenating the drink It's basically a liquid filled with fresh air basically and this is just a good method to bring life to anything that you're drinking. Hashtag Ask Garth. Ask me anything, okay? Hashtag Happy. Hashtag Garth. Hashtag Mr. Yearwood. Oh, hashtag You're It. You know about this Garth Brooks thing? And people will go like, what? And they're like, th there's like a legit theory that he's a serial killer? And you <laughs> see people go, what the f I'm like, he, does he know? And he's like, yeah, of course he knows. Saying today is the day. Summer, it's a queen's birthday. So I'm taking over all our socials, asking you to post hashtag happy birthday, Trisha. Thank you. Trish is not happy. Well, she looks she looks like she's scared in the photo. So I guess the implication is that maybe he kidnapped her. Just a blaring on a radio, blaring on a radio, blaring on a radio, blaring on a radio. This is gonna be good. Oh, did you do it? And he just, you know. He said, think of it more as a conversation. I like that. But I'm already finding out on my own. So it's wiping the walls out between you and me. And I really like that. It allows us into each other's worlds, or I guess in my case, the hotel room. When I think about things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. But most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this. Because it's just who I am. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. This is just who I am. We're now on. So I had to do this video, you guys, because I know for a fact that I found proof of a cover-up. Kobe Bryant was sacrificed. When Kobe Bryant and his daughter died in a helicopter crash, this cartoon from 2016 surface the net by comedy central all right they had an episode of him dying in a helicopter crash so after seeing this because i'm a conspiracy theorist to the third degree like literally i'm a conspiracy theorist the name of my channel was help us get out of america conspiracies all right and i needed to prove without a doubt that Kobe Bryant was sacrificed. So I dug deep into everything. I looked at anything Kobe Bryant was involved in from his interviews 
to movies to commercials and i ended up fadding this and you ain't gonna believe this man this shit is crazy check this out real quick if you look at the lebron action figure then that's the face off the lebron action figure but it's put on kobe even though it don't look too much like lebron but so this is a video of me and my son that I did three years ago on my page. As you can see, it's called America Conspiracies. But at that time, it was called Help Us Get Out of America Conspiracies. I changed the name, right? So I found this action figure with a Kobe Bryant with a helicopter on his head. He have two action figures. One of these action figures has a LeBron face on a Kobe Bryant's body. This shit is crazy. Check this out. So I decided to go to YouTube to see if I could find the video talking about this Kobe Bryant Robo Helicopter toy. And I came across this channel. As you can see, the name of this channel is N-E-S-N. -E you can go to YouTube right now and this video is still up. This video was posted seven years ago. At the time, Kobe Bryant was still alive. This was his final NBA game, the last game he played. Check this out. Hosting everyone for the holidays was a bad plan. Especially when your Wi-Fi only works close to... Kobe Bryant's final NBA game was a highly anticipated event, so it only makes sense that there were plenty of souvenir giveaways for fans in attendance at Staples Center. Everyone at the Mamba's last game received Kobe t-shirts, but the folks who opened up their wallets for courtside seats got a whole prize pack, which included hats, shoes, shirts, and something called a Kobe Robo Jam figure. Now, what exactly is a Kobe Robo Jam figure? It's basically a Kobe Bryant action figure that transforms into a toy helicopter. As odd as these trinkets are, their novelty could mean seeing them show up for sale on eBay in the near future with fans looking to- So now I'm on a hunt to find more information about this Kobe helicopter figure and I end up finding another YouTube channel. But this channel is a World Tech Toy channel. And what they do is they advertise toys. They had a toy advertisement video. And this is the video that I found. I'm gonna show you the video in one minute, but right now this is my video on my channel. After I found the video, I posted it, and I also shared their link. To this day, I come to realize that they removed the link. It's no longer there. So when you click on this link that I put in my description on my channel, it say this video is no longer available. Look, this video is unavailable. Go on my channel right now and type in LeBron Pass and Kobe Crash was predicted on America Conspiracy's YouTube channel. That's my channel. Go in my description where it say more, click more. Go down to the link and try to click on that link. It's going to say that the video is no longer available. This is crazy, right? They took the video down. So I got all type of people in my comments. Check out the comments real quick. So this is the comment section on my channel. After I posted this video, someone said, I still can't get over this one. This get crazier and crazier. This really is a good find. Dang. What the fuck, yo, when did this two come out? So people tripping, and I promise y'all, no other YouTube, no other influencer was speaking about this. Nobody was talking about this. I posted this, and I still couldn't find no other YouTube channel talking about this. Now, this right here, this is the actual video that they posted. This is an advertisement, a toy advertisement video. Check out the video, though. In this video, they got LeBron James flying over Kobe. Kobe is on the ground. Remind you that those are action figures. Both of them have helicopters on their head. So LeBron James is flying over Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant laid out on the ground with a helicopter on his head. You can't make this shit up. You literally can see Kobe Bryant on the ground and LeBron James up above flying over Kobe. This resemble LeBron James passing Kobe. And at this time, Kobe Bryant was still alive when this video was posted on YouTube. This video was posted on YouTube. It's no longer there. I had the link to where I got the video from in my bio. You can go to my channel right now 
click more, you're gonna see the link down there. Prove me wrong. Go click on that link. What you're gonna see is this video is no longer available. I knew I was on to something when I found this and nobody was talking about this. And to this day, I guarantee you won't find nobody talking about this but me. Help us get out of America conspiracies. I now have a new YouTube channel. It's called Six Ritual Sins. So I decided to check out the cartoon. In this film, we're gonna see that Kobe Bryant ducked by a helicopter was predicted in 2017 by Comedy Central. The last episode is called End of Days. It shows Kobe in a helicopter crash. Check this out. They removed this link for a reason, because they know that I was on to something. So I decided to look into Kobe Bryant's daughter, Gigi, and I found old musicals by GMG Warner Entertainment, speaking about this girl, Gigi, flying in the sky, catching fire, burning up. And then I started looking into um, certain rituals that Hollywood get into, how they sacrifice their kid. This shit goes really deep, you guys. I had to post this. I got some crazy shit. Check this out. This story is about a little girl. It could be any one of those little girls playing there, but it isn't. It's about one in particular. That one. Her name is Gigi. Helpless and appealing. One day will flash and send you crashing through the ceiling. This is too much of a coincidence. I found lyrics by Warner Entertainment. MGM, check this out. Gigi, the night they invented champagne. It's plain as it can be they thought of you and me. The night they invented champagne. They absolutely knew that all we'd want to do is fly to the sky on champagne. Waltz at Maxim's. She is not thinking of me. From Gigi, 1958. Lyrics. Alan J. Lerner Music, Frederick Lowe. She's so gay tonight. She's like spring tonight. She's a rollicking, frolicking thing tonight. She is not thinking of me. Someone has set her on fire. Is it Jacques? Is it Paul or Leon? Who's turning her furnace up higher? When the Weinstein scandal broke, we predicted more allegations about other powerful Hollywood players would surface. Some have been more surprising and shocking than others, but we were horrified at how little we had to scratch the surface to uncover stories of pedophilia in Hollywood. Child sacrifice is the ritualistic killing of children in order to please or appease a deity, supernatural beings, or sacred social order, tribal, group or national loyalties in order to achieve a desired result. As such, it is a form of human sacrifice. These children, to be sacrificed to the mountain and other gods, would be collected from all over the land and would be carried in litters together they should be very well dressed. Paired up female and male. The Incas were an ethnic group of superlatives. Although never numbering more than 100,000 individuals, they nevertheless created the largest native empire in the New World, 2,500 miles long from what is now southern Colombia to central Chile and across some of the world's most mountainous and difficult terrain. I've been coming down here since I can remember. My pappy, before him and his pappy. They told me a story of the Union soldiers burning everything in Georgia, but they stopped here in Cage Spring and didn't burn it because of the water. They say the water had rejuvenated them and make them feel like they was alive for three extra days. Okay, family, behind me, you know, I um, believe it was King Kate, he actually mapped out the Grand Canyon. You know, it's a reason why we can't go there. You know, 90% of the Grand Canyon hadn't even been explored. You got over 2,000 cities in the Grand Canyon that hadn't been explored. 
Okay, so when we zoom in, family, we have the Temple of Ra standing at 6,000 feet, uh, 6,778 feet, I'm sorry, 6,078 feet. We got Confucius Temple standing at 7,061 feet. We got the Temple of Osiris standing at 6,637 feet. We got the Temple of Set standing at 6,026 feet. Um, we have the Shiva Temple standing at 7,570 feet. We have Isis Temple standing at 7,014 uh, 7, feet. We have Sheops Temple uh, Pyramid standing at 5,399 feet. And the Buddha Temple at 7,204 feet. Okay. Okay, family. So the Egypt over there on 2 Kings 24 and 7, you know, it don't fit the scripture. So when the king of Egypt came not again anymore out of his land, for the king of Babylon had taken from the river of Egypt unto the river Euphrates. Now, that's geographically impossible. You understand? You see, they lied to us and they built that over there. Family, um, I couldn't find the uh, actual video, but I did find some of the pictures showing you that the Egypt over there was all scripted. So I'm saying three, all these people scheme together, you know, to bring us down. See what I'm talking about? They got cranes and shit, and they use the moors over there to help them build this fake shit. Okay, fam. Right here, you see them constructing the head. The faces. And a lot of our artifacts, you know, they um, find them over here and take them over there and act like they found them over there.